What is going on guys? Out here today with me old man and we are snorkeling this beautiful river that you see right behind me. Thousands, I think hundreds of thousands of people every year float this river on rafts and tubes. But what happens is people float down this river and they have their phones with them. Some people have GoPros on their heads. Women have jewelry, um, people have sunglasses. And so what happens a lot is people think they're going for a leisurely float. And actually this river can be a little treacherous. There are little waterfalls, there are sharp bends, underwater rocks that you can uh, get hung up on. And so people lose stuff all the time. In fact, back in 2016, this is before I was really making YouTube videos, um, I found four phones that year. So um, so there's lots of usual stuff in this river. And uh, so we're just gonna float down and we're gonna look for some river treasure. Of course, I can't leave you. And here's our first stop, guys. There's a waterfall right over there. So the old man is getting in first. He has our brand new wetsuits on. I just dropped the GoPro in the water, so. Um, but anyway, he's getting in the water, and let's see if, there any, if there's anything down at this first spot. the trash too did you find anything oh my gosh is that a little fishing pole I, knock you out. I know These are fantastic. I know they are fantastic I found a fantastic pair of glasses look at that <laughs> the missing shoe <laughs> oops I just dropped the knife I found you found a knife oh, here it is. That's right. huh? oh that's crazy and a good to use fishing pole <laughs> And With, hair for my and hair. And hair <laughs> <laughs> Hey, open that knife up. Is that still good or not? Not really. <laughs> you are tired, aren't you? I'm gassed. <laughs> you were swimming against that current for... Gosh, I only... <laughs> I don't think it's going to open. Yeah, I think it's too, it's well, too old. Put it in... Uh, what's the magic? Coke. You put it in like, Coke? Like <laughs> we'll put it in Coke. All right, guys. So, I found this fancy lighter, which I'm sure is not going to work anymore, but that's... Uh, was a fancy one, then a whole bunch of trash. This nice Vans shoe. We need to find the partner to well, these two shoes. This. Look at that. Of course. That looks great. Along with these great sunglasses. I should just walk around wearing all this stuff that we find. <laughs> I need to find like a shirt and pants now. <laughs> and I'll try fishing with this. I, I, I'm particularly proud of this hair bob for my hair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All right, let's go on to the next spot. this out. Ice cold, unopened Gatorade. That was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen down there. A crawdad eating that mouse. That was, that was creepy. I eat crawdads too. That's kind of funny. 
Anyway, let's get back down there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, nice. All right, so what did you get? That is a monster. Those claws are good enough to eat. He's, uh, what? <laughs> Let's see, that's six inches across. So he's, if you stretch that claw, he's a good five inches. That's nice, nice. You also found lunch. <laughs> Got some cheese. So Ooh. we'll get to have that later. All Ouch. right. Oh, did he yeah. get you? You know, you could <laughs> feed that cheese stick to these ducks. Oh, that's that'd be fun. Oh, that's still good though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay guys, you want a little cheese? Hope this doesn't like make him sick, you know? <laughs> Heck no, I'm gonna have me a little bit. <laughs> Not bad. Should I see if I can feed one out of my hand? Sure. Hey, everybody got a piece? Yeah. Let's see if I can feed out of my hand. Hey, anybody brave enough? <laughs> I found this MEP spinner, which is pretty old, probably not very usable. And then a phone, first phone of the year, filled with water. This is not usable. But guys, here is the irony. It's in a life-proof case. <laughs> life-proof case, no life-proof. <laughs> Maybe you can get funny. the SIM card and find the owner like you did on the other ones. <laughs> I've done that before. Yes. That was pre-YouTube days. Yes. Okay, so this this is a real life proof case. Like it's all sealed up. Like it has one of those things you unscrew. I'd get my money back if I was. Just... <laughs> yeah, as <laughs> it's all sealed up, but it is full of water. Let's see what kind of phone it is. We have a oh my gosh, a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Oh my goodness. 64 gigabyte. Somebody will be happy if they can get that back. <laughs> it's not usable. Anymore. No, but I mean, they can get the card out and get the, if they had any pictures and stuff on it, like you, you did for those other people, so. Mm, that's true. Cool. Well, we'll get the SD card out if it's any good. Let's see, um, man, that's, I don't know how expensive that phone is. But. This is 2018. That's a brand new one, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. S9 Plus. Wow. wow. Guys, check this out. As we're floating down the river, we got blackberries just hanging over. Oh, that was not very ripe. We'll try. Oh, but that one is. You can just feel how soft it is. Mmm. That is tasty. Look at that. Fresh berries. What? Like you like the adventure? So my dad wants to go down this way. I'm not so sure. I think this is going to lead to one of those, like, just canals. Like... I think we're at the head of a canal because the main river is out there. 
and it funnels off to the side. I think this is just a canal, but he wants to go down it. We'll see. Oh, dear. Look. There's a deer. She's right in there, guys. Just looking at us. It's a doe. Oh, there she goes. Spooked her off. No telling how many deer and that kind of stuff you can go by. There's a bicycle. A bicycle? Right down there. What? See it? Oh, yeah. There's an old bicycle. Should we, re should we recover it? <laughs> Let's do it. I wonder if that's a nice one. I don't know bikes. An Avalon. Avalon? So that's a, okay, so, that's so we'll have to look up later if an Avalon bike. Are there any subscribers? The tire is still full. Still good? That's crazy. The, so, the front, guys, spot. here's the funny thing. So there's a little path right up there, and the road, you can probably hear the cars going by. The road is really close to this spot. So somebody, like I doubt somebody just went over that ledge. And then left their they bike here. Look for the body, <laughs> That's kind of scary, actually. But so I wonder if like somebody was mad at another person, they threw their bike in, or maybe it's like an ex-girlfriend or <laughs> some. Wonder what the story is. Well, I'll throw it up there on the shore in case somebody wants it. That is funny. That is too so funny. So get a hold of Asa if you need to know. Yeah, if you're could. missing a bike, whoever's missing a bike, we found your bike. That would be so funny if the owner. Guys, if you know anybody who had their bike stolen, ask them. Ask them. Because <laughs> that maybe, or maybe somebody is like, I'm done. Maybe they're so frustrated and threw it in. I don't know. What? Don't come. Don't cut. Oh, shoot. Well, guys, this is uh, turning. Okay. Well, guys, we got a little bit of a drop. I'm going to let my dad be the test dummy. Not dummy, I'm not. You know, yeah. nothing, oh, no offense. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> we got some more rapids, yeah. Yeah, this would have been, this would have been a little bit too intense to go down, especially with all the camera equipment that I have with me. Freedom! Back to the main river. Well guys, this is the end of the line. The uh, The sun's getting a little bit low in the sky, and so it's just harder and harder to see underneath the water. Uh, yeah. And my dad, <laughs> my dad's tired. So we didn't even explore half of the river that we wanted to, but we still found some great stuff today. So let's go home and then we'll lay it out all, all out on the table and take a look at it. Great day on the water. Got a matching pair of van shoes. I can wear those except for they're a little too small. Both size nine. Um, of course the uh, real nice sandals as well. Both size nine as, nine as if well. If we keep that. snorkeling we'll find the matches. Exactly. That's why we're never throwing this stuff away. <laughs> and then we did drink our, I drank the tea. Ace had the Gatorade that we was, found. That to me that was one of the best finds. That was a highlight. That yeah that was, was a, because hard. I mean I was thirsty. I ran out of water. <laughs> it, it worked out real well. This I plan on using for ice fishing. Um, that'll work out really nice. The, the length of the rod is just right for ice fishing. Uh, this is an antique green bottle. What are you laughing for? And uh, of course the sunglasses, all of which are not good, except for this pair here is actually a nice pair of sunglasses. Um, you can see through them that hasn't been scuffed up or anything. So that'll, that'll be cleaned up nice. Um, for me, the lures are always fun to find. That's a big bonus. Lighter won't work, of course, none of these other. But the highlight of the trip, Galaxy, S9 Plus. What did that retail for on Amazon again? On Amazon, $735. There we go. Well, that was on sale. Too. On sale, too. Well, we'll get the SIM card off this, have Verizon or somebody help us find who the owner is. Maybe we can get it back to them. Yeah, sounds so, good. But it wasn't a waterproof case, so that's nice to know. It did. It was all sealed up. I mean, you showed yeah. us on the river. It, it looked like it was really good, but apparently it doesn't work in, in eight feet of water or something. I don't know what the deal is. But yeah, that's... Anyway, see if we can get it back to the owner. 
So it is insanely cool finding this phone, guys. But now what we're gonna do is we gotta try to find the owner. My dad pointed out something to me. He said uh, it's gonna be it'd be a really good idea to return this to the person, even if it's you know uh, not usable, because if they bought insurance on it, that you need a phone to collect insurance. And I looked at the uh, when I pulled out uh, to find the SIM card. Uh, when I pulled out the little slot, there was a 200 gigabyte. Uh, SD card inside which is about 50 bucks and so I'm sure there are a lot of valuable things on the SD card so uh, what we're gonna do is I looked at the, uh, the SIM card and it belong the carriers T-Mobile so we're gonna go to the nearest T-Mobile store they can plug the the, uh, the SIM card into their system and they'll be able to find the person that this phone belongs to hi sir how are you good okay. so I've got their account here I, I okay. can see the account I can't give you any information uh -huh. on that account can, uh, can you give them my number then call me um, I, I just like if if I called them and then they came to your house and like killed you or something like or anything crazy like that we we can't do that. What I can do is I can keep the phone here, call them, and have them come here to pick it up. And that, that's what I'm able to do legally. Okay. But I, I can't give people's information out just because of the crazy world we live in. You know what I mean? Can you give them my number? I I can't even with your permission. I can't give out. It's a liability thing. If something crazy were to happen, T-Mobile can't be liable for that. What I can do is I could keep the phone here, call them, get the phone back to them that way. Um, but I, unfortunately, I can't give out your information to them or give their information to you. Well, guys, as you just heard, um, they cannot legally give me any other person's contact information, and they can't give that person my contact information, uh, which is different than Verizon, some of the other stores where last year when I found some phones, where they gave my information to the to the owner of the phones. But anyway, a little bit different. T-Mobile still got to return the phone to the person. Hopefully, they can uh, get their get some money back out of it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please consider becoming a member of my channel for $4.99 a month. Helps keep this channel going and you guys get access to tons of extra photos, pictures, little videos, all kinds of th behind the scenes things uh, like that. So I'll put a link to that in the comment section and in the description below. Consider becoming a member to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.